right, well, uh, be good, house. Don't fall apart while I'm gone. Um, I'll miss you. Oh man, I just realized I'm running across America barefoot. Oh, it's really happening. He was sort of standing in the corner of this room and he said, I'm going to go on this barefoot walk. This is how I walk through New York City, barefoot, barefoot. He was really hitting his stride as a writer and a poet. You know, doing this kind of almost like guerrilla theater where he'd go out with his camera. He said, I'm going viral. He said, I'm going viral. Oh yeah, <laughs> this dude's awesome. He's crossing the country with bare feet. <laughs> he wanted to save the planet. He wanted to make people aware of climate change, that we're destroying the earth. You know, climate change isn't something we will worry about in the future. It's now. The Earth is just getting warmer and warmer. And the thing about it is, all these changes to the Earth, these are all human-induced. He was doing something really dangerous. And he knew that it was dangerous. And I think that was kind of the point, <laughs> in a way. If I die on this trip, it's not going to be because I didn't wear shoes. It's going to be because an automobile kills me. Anytime you walk near automobiles, you're putting yourself in danger. We were just like, we should just tell him to come home. Like, why didn't we tell him to come home? My journey across the country is a metaphor to not give up. People have talked about Mark being this, you know, barefoot vegan superhero. You thought that Mark somehow was invincible, that there was nothing that could take Mark out. There is something beautiful about the road. It's a symbol of uh, going somewhere. And I just prefer to do it on my own two feet.